The buys are in. Zipex and Glaive into utility. Squeaky blown off. Molly for good measure. And everybody else towards that yard position. Quickly across. Apex caught out. Oh, and even grabs one. Dupree's down. Glaive on the trade. And Kyojin Kyo with some warning shots. Stop it, bro. He keeps going. Oh, and he stands his ground, I guess, with the USP up against the Glock. There was a P250 in play, but he's up for it. That could have cost him, but... Glaive and Zip in a real dire strait now with the bomb locked to secret. They can take their time, but as soon as they test Kyojin, he'll get in more than just info, a chance for a click. Oh, first one. Bit hectic, but he's got the info as to where those two are. Glaive closing the gap. Kyojin does stand to fight, and Glaive has opened up the account for Astralis. Three frags already, Chad. We talked about his underperformances. He's just pulled Astralis right back into this pistol. Yeah, this is going to get interesting now. Two on two, Zao and Shocks, the two players you'd want alive in a clutch situation, but Zipax, the clutch minister, alive as well. Smoke on Glaive. If you wanted to smoke main, plant some doubt, scoop up the bomb. May not need to. Shocks has taken occasional cursory glances. Bomb scoop now. Yeah, they might be worried that somebody is down towards secret. You can see with the way the Zipex is clearing, they're not so sure. Now, going around to heaven with the pivot, not a bad call. They do have that smoke, that flash as well, but... Oh, Shox is looking. Shox might catch them here the from behind. On this. Just as they avert their gaze. Through the windows. Spotted now. Called the bomb. No, it's going to be top. They have to go up the ladder to heaven. And that information leads to the demise of Glaive. All onto Zip. He can't clutch it. Vitality, well handled. You can see the experience there from Shocks, a combination of patience and proactivity. Well, they had to find it out, right? Because if they were towards the lower site, you could see that Zawa and Shocks were both out of position and then that retake, they would have wanted to try and get a jump on it before they heard the digits getting punched on in. But this one only got out of control virtue of Glaive. That's the first. These two are beautiful here. That first running down, Masuda not looking the snap on up. Yeah. That one is crispy onto Kyojin. Not enough. The French will kick things off with that pistol round. But as you can see here, left hand side of your screen, we are missing a player from the server, Masuda. He'll be back any moment. Don't you worry about that. Technical timeout called. Now, um, we also have the VP taking on Mouse Sports game following this. This is another elimination game for the day. Over on that mainstream right now, Furia and Entropic. A progression game. One of those two names, the Brazilians or the, uh, I guess, the underdog CIS team, right? Could be quali qualifying on through for that arena right now. And then uh, NIP versus Gambit is the next game of play. And uh, to close out the day, Heroic and Copenhagen Flames. One of those two teams will be locking themselves in for the arena today as well. So uh, going to be some exciting games of Counter-Strike ahead of us here. Yeah, I mean, you've got your whole day planned, I think. But we're going to be looking to resolve that ASAP. He does receive word that it's not perhaps as easy as a plug and play. I am seeing buys and looks like the match is back live. And Astralis have come up with an answer. In the absence of a bomb plant, they will force regardless. It's Glaive that decides to equip Dupree with the Dream second round package. And it's going to be Protect the VIP. If they throw out the wall smokes, we'll find out. It's early from Magisk on the Divider. Lots of utils through the sky right now, but it looks like... I want to work that AK over towards Rams. Apex just making sure there's no free information towards Squeaky here. And they're going to be walking into the domain of Masuda with the MP9. That smoke will fade. Oh, he could shred them here. It's up to Dupree. How quick is he on that trigger? Ahead of the flash. Brilliant work. Masuda takes two for his troubles. But the site is lost and the Astralis buy is revealed. And look. Like we have had a little bit of an issue over in Stockholm. So we're going to try and, well, resolve it ASAP. We'll get ourselves situated so as to at least find some solution to it. We're giving you something to look at. Hi. Ah, no. It yeah, was the force by round. The, the force by, yeah, and then it and then, they timed yeah, out at round. And then it froze. Okay, well, Vitality won the second round. Uh, we're getting into the third round of play right now. Oh, I love Counter-Strike. Do yeah, you, Chad? Too. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. It's starting. Let's do it. Now, this is going to be, uh, I'm going to say, much of a muchness as far as the scoreline's going here. Just some upgraded pistols, not a whole lot to boast. I've just remembered that this is for uh, survival at the Major as well. The first one in two years. Yeah, so the, there is a, a little bit on the line, I suppose. You know, what with the four-time Major Champions as well as, of course, three-time Major Champion Magisk going up against the indisputable world number one from the last two years. Not talking about this year. 
I think Symbol has it netted up this I year. I do too. Yeah. I, I suppose this event here could have a lot of weight on that. Well, okay, if for some miraculously Vitality reverse sweep after going down 0 2. And Zywoo drops 40. Zywoo drops 40 game. against Symbol and breaks his heart and takes his major away from him. It, there'd be some good conversations at the uh, <laughs> at the the MVP debate. That's making me a bit sad right there. But yeah, look. Sad. Uh, yeah. Well, no. Like. Yeah. We, Chad, our scene is chock a block full of drama. It would only make sense. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, Apex Oof. man on your screen there has just gone on down. He's won a major too. Just if we want to do a bit of history while we have this eco bash going on through, and same as shocks. So uh, some pedigree in the server today, and they're just mopping them up one at a time here. Gun rounds will be taking shape in the next round of play. Zip just being a naughty, naughty boy. Goes on down. Shox gets the final kill. And here we go. We can actually start sinking our teeth into this first map. Best of three. Alex mentioned elimination. Lots on the line. Glaive has an AWP in his hands. Uh, and, and, and I think that Glaive's probably going to keep that AWP in his hands because it's a glass cannon. Now, this is where some of the issues... I had to think what word I wanted to go for there. If conversation has been with uh, this Australis roster since Lucky's been in, he's your AWPer, and uh, there's been multiple occasions where Glaive and Dupree have used it instead of him. So let's see, can Glaive justify this early? Limp Smoke drop from Apex to play around. AWP immediately over towards ramp. One out for Zywell on the other side of things, and he's going to find himself in main. Apex with a lot of responsibility here. Has to deal with all these yard lurks. Um, oh, oh, just excuse me? Yeah, so Who he has to get out of there, right? The, the decals of the blood are going to be on that box, so he can't hang around in that position anymore. You can see why he gets to move on quickly. Oh, he's going to come up secret. Look at this setup. Zip's not ready for this. They can double peek at any point, but they're holding their nerve. It could lead him to a false sense of security or maybe a lost opportunity. Advancing now is Zaiwu. Oh, and they strike in unison on either end of the map. Lobby down. Zaiwu deals with Yard and Apex has been set up for success. Now, it is a gamble. He's hoping Silo isn't going to be getting that info first, and he'll be able to pop up out of his hidey hole to take down Magisk and his red container walk. Glaive's not ready for this at all. Oh, and Zywoo's just getting lovely freebies. This is going to be a clean one if they're not careful. Lucky left alone. Hard tap. Zywoo won't be missing another, and that's the end of that. Vitality. Knock Astralis down, and that does not bode well. I hate what I'm seeing. I hate the fact that Glaive on the first gun round of the map that they just chose to go up against Vitality bought an AWP glass cannon over his primary AWPer. Yeah, that is peculiar. The decision making there. Like, you just picked this map. You must have some form of a game plan here. And I don't think Glaive buying a glass cannon AWP on the T side was that game plan. Regardless, that looked way too easy for Vitality. The fact that Apex gets tagged up and then has a chance to reposition top of warehouse late. You never see people playing that position late. Aids through, not much damage done. Extinguish on the line. Smokes have missed. Unforced oh, error here. No, Astralis. They have to go back to the drawing board. And, and that's all their utility. They just left with one HE. So immediately, they're unable to get the smoke wall down. They're unable to get the space they were talking about. And it could have been brilliant. Zyra with, with the AWP was in secret. This is would be you could great have overrun it. Down. And now he gets the info. And uncharacteristic miss, but does, of course, have the support of his squad. And Apex could give them the frag Oosh. they've been hoping for. Straight to his dome, a real chance for this to go wrong, and it is starting to spiral. Two scavenge rifles, a spotted out Masuta, he has to hold his nerve here. He has to hold his nerve, he goes wide, a nice adjustment, bomb now loose, but Dupree is the second component. Zywoo, a lot of responsibility on his shoulders here, and he's getting overrun. The Deagle, shy of the mark, oh! he does adjust, one -on -one. nice, into the head, and Kyojin. The rookies. The battle of the rookies. Oh, that was a sound cue, lovely, and Kyojin. Gonna go for a speedy descent. Lucky's not gonna be prepared for a timing like this. Another sound cue to reinforce it. And Kyojin holding his spray. Risky maneuver there. Lucky can still clutch up very low. Playing a sound game. He has to plant eventually. It's up to the perception. Vents to top. Secret to top. Lucky's playing a wild game now. Oh, he's calling the bluff out. here. Trying to fake him out. The door swings open again. Kyojin yes. does not have it. Well played by Lucky on he's the sound cue. Him. Completely. He starts to identify where it is. Okay. He's got a kit. It's not the end of the world for Kyoto, but Lucky advancing into a powerful, hard, deep clear. Confirmation of where he advances from. Kyojin will have to swing through this clear. And wow, Lucky has delivered for Astralis there. 
After just Tech Nines and Armor, after a missed Wall Smokes, Zaiwu did take two of the three required. But Lucky is the one to put Astralis' first on the board. That one right there, that clutch, right? That's it looks Zywu with that double kill. He had missed a couple of orb shots that he traditionally hit, but he made up for it. So that one there falling apart for Vitality. Look, there's plenty of cash for another purchase here, but you can't be dropping too many of those. Very, very messy when it looked like they had the dugs in all the right places, but Dupree, only top heart. Smokes in exchange here. Smoke walls down again and a gap one more time. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. So, so much information for Vitality to work with here. I'm going to reposition the cam here because with the new radar, we can't see the colors of the nades. We need to see if that's the T side trying to set up the guaranteed smoke wall. If it is the CTs unraveling all of that towards Yard, we'll definitely keep that one posted. But we're turning our attention towards top site here. They're lining up. Molly for back of sight. Here we go. Yeah, Kyoji's going to be tested here. Shocks has to tuck in. Vision. Oh, what? No one clears. He's allowed to get one. Activated in the vents is no. Kyojin sprays down three. And Astralis left wanting. Lucky again thrust into a dire circumstance. He's going around the world, or at least suggesting that. He's been all right in the clutch, Lucky. Mm. The gap is yard for now, but I imagine. There will be a cursory glance from that Zywu Orp. Yeah. Timing's everything. Just as Zywu does look away, Lucky starts his crawl. He'll have a look, Heaven. Here's it, tucked in just enough. Okay. 25 and ticking. Another check from Zywu. Lucky behind enemy lines. Did he see him? Off he goes. Zywu's not having any of that. No, no scope to secure it. And Vitality defense is on lock. Astralis on the struggle. Yeah, here's the thing, right? Clutches are not going to be the only way that they need to get through this here. It needs to be something a little bit more convincing. And they are taking a timeout here on this T side to discuss their options. Lucky has a lot of cash left over, 6.2. Glaive has enough to buy as well. The rest of them just outside that region, like Magis can buy into a Galil with utility behind it. Zipex and Dupree can maybe buy something a little bit lighter if they want to keep this one quick. But... Having a discussion right now with Dupree, looking at the, clo the coach here for the chat. Interesting to see where they want to land with all of this. That was the highlights from the round earlier, but this is great from Kyojin. He's a player who on Nuke for Vitality tends to struggle towards the top side, right? It's not an easy position to play, especially with all the variations of utility you can see coming your way. But this is the buy that Astralis have been able to muster. Two AKs, two Galils, and a MAC-10 for Zip. Util to make this one work as well. This is Astralis' pick. We need to see evidence now. The only round you've posted and looked the most threatening. Tech nines and armor. Different Elbent smoke. smoke. Or elbow. And Zyu's the first to put his name in the feed. Zipex is kept at minus one. And Masuta has been caught completely in transition. Look at him wide open. It's up to Apex to deliver. And he has. Drops the head off of the snake. Dupree writhing in response, down to 10 and more oh, damage Oh, just inflicted. caught. Yeah. No longer does he have the element of surprise or even a functional health ball. Zai would likely to finish this one. It's a layup. And here comes the dunk. Magisk is on lock. They have his exit on either side. Apex won't let this slip. Ooh, he could have. Doesn't. And just horrible circumstances again for the Danes. Yeah, this is not the position you want to be in at all. Now they have space, but back into Apex has been very active. This round is going to catch a great timing. Dupree clears, but Apex steps on in, and it's just one man remaining lucky again, left in the clutch. And this headshot angle is a nuisance to clear. Apex spotted, and he's good to go. He is looking set. Look at his face. It's just dirt off his shoulder. It's another day in the office. Reading him like a children's book here, right? They just absolutely destroyed that. And, and that little walk from Magis towards Yard, the smokes had just faded as he crosses towards that secret point, and Kyojin gets all that info, right? That was a, able to make them rotate around, and good stuff here from the French, 6-1. to one. And it is looking like the match they had not that long ago over at the RMR.
Vitality are taking care of business here today. Now, I know we've only we've seen a couple of missed shots, but also if Zyru can maintain form like this, this is exactly what the stats boys have been asking for. Careful, fast, shocks, blind, does adjust and ret return to vision in time. It's up to Kyojin now to at least take another body down. And he will, more than that, delivers in large capacity. Finished off with ease and yeah, no sweat on the brow really for Vitality there. None at all. Uh, I think right now if Kyojin continues to get multi-kills towards the top side, that's only going to help his confidence. I think this is fantastic for him to mop them up like that and this is what they need. You can even see the smiles. Really good mood over there in the French camp right now. Now guns are coming back out and this one looks like more of a standard buy. Just the contrast. We're only, what are we, eight rounds in? Cutting from the giggles of Zaiwu to the stone face of Sonic. Yeah, it has been uh, uh, definitely a hard couple of maps here for Zonic to have to sit there and watch. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, oh. No. Lucky, Lucky needs this one. He's getting overrun. Apex allowed to retreat. Not pretty. Apex, Apex is going to get away. No, he's not. That's enough. Magisk has at least given them the frag they sought. He's always flirting with some information gathering. <laughs> Hanging on by a thread, he does just tuck in as they fade, his read of the game is... He's so active. Yeah, it's high. Flash is great. He's got more where that... Ca oh, a little one-way. Action! Now tags up Magisk. And fully commits. Stylishly stalling for the silent drop as well. Top's about to be a problem here, so much pressure. Best chance from Astralis we've seen. Magisk is working on the heaven flank. Sai was adjusted so as to not be vulnerable, but his teammate Kyojin is unawares. His back is turned. There's the trade. Zaiwu tucked into Hut. He can do a lot with this, and Shocks as well is activated. This is still a threat. And this frag is everything. Nice find. Zaiwu found that's the bomb, though, on Lucky. He can bail himself <laughs> out of trouble. And Lucky's got to do it all again for Astralis. What a recovery. His read. Zaiwu's been everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely everywhere. Lucky just left in these situations time and time again. He's the least experienced for this type of environment. A two-on-one herd now. Smoke's going to give it away. Vitality rotating in, getting the bomb down. That's something. It's huge, actually, with the smoke decon. He can maybe oh, just get away from the suitors first, but Zaiwu not giving up any slack. So we call it eight. That's a one half in nine rounds of play. Yeah, this is looking way too easy, but it's great to see this version of Vitality starting to come alive. Very concerned yesterday after the EG game. That was not a type of matchup I thought they'd be struggling with. And I mentioned the two best ones they had earlier against great opponents of Heroic and Virtus Pro. Both who had to make it through that challenger stage here. Both who are still alive in this tournament right now. If I was a super a Vitality super fan, I could easily dismiss those as not having, not being warm. You know, you're playing against all these teams that have just had a full stage of competition. All the Swiss, best of ones, best of threes. It'd be easy to shrug my shoulders and say, yeah, okay, but now they've had a couple to warm up. It was what? Super close. 16-13, 16-12. That would be enough of a perceivable difference in terms of staying warm or getting warm. So I was definitely looking a whole lot warmer now. Uh, just a fun little fact so far. Obviously, yesterday we had two teams qualifying uh, into the arena already. That was going to be Na'Vi. Uh, and we also had coming on through from yesterday, G2. Now, we just had Furia topple in Tropic 2-1, and they've qualified for the arena as well, which is huge. Huge for the Brazilians as well. Like, all hope on them now. But the first three teams to qualify for the arena have all been Legend Stage teams so far. Good point. So that's uh, something to keep in the back of our mind here. We will see the buy coming through from Astralis. It doesn't really get better than this for Astralis as well, and they haven't opted for early wall smokes. Masuta will be there now, deployed. So here you can see they're considering their lineups, and I mean, Masuta will be able to call this fake or commit, as long as he doesn't overextend here into Lucky's scope. And the response to the potential stutter. This is early. His aggression trophy. Oh, oh, Lucky's let it slip. You can see, just shy. He's hit the brim of Masuta's baseball cap. And that's an oh. answer as well. <laughs> Magis just caught as he averts his gaze. Lucky late to convert. And now again, Astralis stomach a disadvantage. Trying to find a way back in. Glaive looking for topside bomb and Dupree. Just at the tail of this for Astralis. And 40 seconds, the options are still available to descend. But you can see that Masuta's... Adjusted, he's been given a second new lease of life. Look at all his nades as well. If he wanted to drop the smoke now, that would be perfect. Oh, and Sendry first. Yeah, if he drops the smoke on top of this, Bingo. there's no. Th they have screen. to run through. 
Here they come, nice and loud, looking the wrong way. Multi-kill delivered, and you'll never guess who has the clutch. It's poor old Lucky. Trying to play some naughty games, force the rotate, he's not far off the mark. A flash and a boost over the smoke leads to Zywu's demise. A good start here for Lucky. The Dane being pressured doesn't have time for this and tries for the quick scope plant. A Hail Mary play if ever I've seen one. Nine and one. Astralis left wanting. 3400 as well on the high end. Take a timeout, fellas. Get Zonic involved. Dejected is, is, is one word I, I would use to describe the way Dupree's been looking in his last couple of games, right? And you can understand why things just haven't been functioning whatsoever. He had a couple of moments there in the ancient game they played just the other day. I was like, okay, well, Dupree's here to fight. And the team. But it, yeah, and it's it's not just, you know, being overly emotional and trying to story build where stories don't exist. You know, when the team morale is at an all-time low. Which it has to be. Which it has to be. There's so much uncertainty, you know? You come into this event in the same way EG were rife with uncertainty and look at how that looked. There is a, believe it or not, the five players are real human beings with lives and feelings. And all that jazz. And I do think, you know, it bleeds into the gameplay and they do look flat today. A grand total of, here comes some quick maths. Oh, here we uh, go. 20 frags between all of them. Zywu's got 15 on his own. That's an average of two kills per round. Alex, there's some more maths for you. Wow. Look at me now, Miss Dearden. Look at me now. It's just going to get worse here. The rotation's perfect. There's three players on the lower side. They're dealing with all of this. Lucky again, the only one to put up a bit of a fight here. The trades are coming on through. Glaive doing something, but it's a two on three. The bomb's yet to go down, and there's no rifles in their hands just yet. Where the bomb is. This is difficult to get. They will scoop it up at least. Dupree's close. He could win this round right here, Dupree. Dupree's D gives him one. Oh, it's not a D. It gives a tech nine as well. My hope dwindles with that. The pop flash. Shox is going to be fully blind, executed, and traded. Winnable, though, for Glaive. Vent to top is the right call here. If he can make it up, oh, never mind. Kyojin well aware of this one. Their comms is very good right now for the French. Like, they are constantly finger on the trigger and the pulse. They know what's up. At no point has it felt like Astralis have deceived or Vitality have had a misread. No, this is like, and even with some of the deaths that Apex has stomached, right? You can see his bravery steps out. He gets one, but he gets all the info. So in a lot of those situations, right, they're putting bodies on the line and they're, well, what are we talking about? The score is 10 to 1. There's been no fight from Astralis here. This has just been flat. This is where it needs to start, though. 10-5 on the half. Okay, you can work with that. You can get this one going. If there's ever going to be an opportunity, it needs to start right now. Keep nade from Sharks. That is going to land a bit of damage right there. Oh, no. A little bit shy. Molly. How's that for some damage? It's all just coming their way. Like, he's just taking pot shots through the smoke. It's just simple as you like. Magisk is dead. And also, to do anything. No kicking, no screaming. Not only just go on trophy in the previous, they set him up in hut again. Zywu's allowed to tr play the full, like, adventure mode Counter-Strike right now. Whatever he desires. And again, Zip just gets one to the grill. He's had the worst half he's had so far at the Major. It doesn't get worse than 0-12. Kept so humble. His, his job is to hold lobby. Oof. They just, like, <laughs> look, they die through the smoke. They die in the back. The Astralis have no idea what's going on. This is like the Flames game we did. Can Remember the Flames game we did where it's like Astralis are getting owned? Th this is that and then it, more. Is there a possibility to take like, I don't know, like a 30 minute timeout? Can they just like, take a full you know, 30 minutes, maybe go for a walk? Go up to their room, have a shower, Stretch. come back down. Yeah, I think so. Well, the, the, oh. the positive here is the way Vitality looking today and the type of Counter-Strike Zywu is playing, that's what we want to see, mm -hmm. right? If we're going to build one storyline here that's a positive, I know this is heartbreaking for all the Danish fans out there, all the Astralis loyals, the people who have seen this team over major after major be fantastic. But Vitality, this is them at a point where they're starting to look threatening here and another team just dealing with Astralis. Back in the day, Astralis did this to everybody. Nobody did this to Astralis. On, on Nuke in particular. You know, I mean, that was what that was the most undefeated map. They had the spree. And, I mean, you talk about the Danish fans, maybe measure your heartbreak a little because you'll be able to choose where, who, who you can be the glory supporter of uh, a little later on in the day. Just go ahead and choose the winner of Heroic and Copenhagen Flames. Order the jersey. It should be there in time. You can even uh, get a short little, well, you could drive. You could. You know, Sweden and yeah, uh, across Denmark, the bridge. not too far away. Pick, up, over. pick up some uh, Hugo Geflu. Become a Roy fan. 
think that's what the uh, the Danish Hugo dessert. Gaflu. Hugo Gaflu. That's okay. um, Angel Delight. Oh, all right. And that is uh, Lost Apex. <laughs> Just keeps taking them. It was bound to fall apart eventually. Red container boost is anticipated. He's so ready for yeah, it. Look at him. Taking some liberties as well as I won't. Now, this is standard nuke. Park. Oh, oh, Shock didn't clear his okay. corners. It looked like he saw something there. Now, this is a decent advantage right here for the Danes. Could still disintegrate. Zywoo's <laughs> mean. Just a jiggle out of Dupree and the extra damage initially inflicted by Apex has resulted in a quick death. Now, they do really lose the potency. Magisk returns us to the fray. And Zai, we're ready to play. Can't track Zipex. That should be the round. Masuta locked out. Silently ascends. It's Zipex with that AWP. He's actually opted for the Tech 9. And yeah, no way in. Glaive with an AK as well. Both of them on the site. He'd love a perfect pop flash and peek. You want to make this costly as well. Stop three of them saving all those goodies. And I say that as Masuta does seem to indicate he's happy to save. Yeah, I think he'd like the AK here. Big fan of the Anarchy AK, isn't he? Now, uh, that's the second round for Astralis here, but when we consider both the rounds they've won, Alex, it's come from these type of rounds. One was a lucky clutch when they were on the pistols, the Tech Nines, and this time round again, able to get it done with primarily the pistols here. So this is not a way that you can replicate success. And here you go, the damage Masuda on the way out of Lobby grabs two, the Orb's gone, and he gets to hold on to that AK, so the damage was done. Well, uh, that's the best of both worlds, folks. It doesn't really get juicier than that. And Astralis, it's like a bitter, sweet victory. Congratulations, you've you've changed the one to a two, but all of that extra goodies will have to be reinvested. I don't know if the Orp's even going to be a part and component of it. To me, it looks like there's one team who wants to be here and the other, not so much. And the scoreline probably reflecting that a lot. Now, this is how it kicked off Dupree with one, and then the second. It looked like Shocks had cleared in there, but... Not catching him in the line of sight. Now 11-4, I said 10-5. 11-4, we can still work with that. Sonic definitely can work with that. Looking for a deceptive scoreline, and it's not perhaps out of the realms of possibility. Kyojin oh. flustered, does adjust, and a third not far off. Through the smoke again, Apex strikes. He doesn't need to see him to find him a two-on-two, -two, and it's not done yet. Glaive, Masuta, dancing around the fading smokes, and just like that, a third is found. There we go. Bit of pace to it, to a gun round, the first gun round Astralis have. And it's also put this Vitality roster in a position where they have to discuss the final round to play. Masuda having enough to drop, they can get the guns out for this. You'd much prefer the 12-3. But hopefully this isn't just consolation rounds, just to make it look a little bit more competitive here, because Astralis, not only are they going to need to grab this one, they're going to need to get the pistol round, they have to keep the conversion clean, they have to make sure they get that first gun round. And that's not just conversion rounds, maybe that's the constellation round because uh, they really would have to align for that to be realistic. A couple of references to the stars. Appropriately. But yeah, the buy is through, so no dramas for the French here. They have made this work. Residual cash on a couple. That's where that Masuda save comes into play, right? Because he had 8K in this round. That means everybody's going to be have a, uh, having a rifle going forward. It's just those little details that do make all the difference here. Magisk being quite quiet. I don't know how many times we've mentioned his name. Five in terms of the kill department, 11 for Lucky. And just a 19 and four half out of Zaiwu. Just. Okay, well, quick worked. They're threatening the same. Double pump, perhaps. Top util continues to barrage in. Yeah, here comes the second wave, and Sharks waves goodbye to Dupree. More on the site. Glaive ready for the fight. Three on two, very quickly established. It does favor the Danes, but for how long? Force forward, Masuta needs this. It rides and rests on this. Double fight, Glaive to swing and trade, okay. Leaves Apex in the bomb lobby. I think that will have been at least communicated, so he can piece that together on his own. He's gone around the world here as well, so he's gonna get there in time Aww. to stop them from picking up the bomb. This is one of the least expected angles. Bomb, 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 bomb. He's gonna get double peaked. It shouldn't be a way for him to handle this. Shouldn't. But there may be now. Slips away just in time. Glaive to answer back. And Apex, oh, he had the crosser there. Glaive has saved him. And you know Astralis will be happy about that. Memes aside, 
An 11-4 half can be deceiving. As Chad has highlighted, you win that pistol, you take its conversion, and suddenly that vitality that looked infallible, indomitable, can start to look a little more human. Yeah, so look, it, 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 not an easy way to get to these four rounds. Let's recap one more time. The Lucky Clutch, the Pistols again for their second, and then finally getting some gun rounds. Another one here coming down to a one-on-one -on -one situation. So the rounds haven't been clean for Astralis whatsoever, but regardless, the rounds are there. Now this could be over at the blink of an eye as long as the French convert this pistol. And with their buy, we can already see that they're going in with two bucket loads of utility. One for Kyogen, one for Shocks, and Apex as well investing. This is heavy on the util department here on that T side of things. And well, for the CTs, it's quite the opposite. No kit, no smoke, none of those goodies, not even Julie's to lock down that top hut position. But I mean, seriously, three players. It's a lot of nades. nades. Ah, I wonder if Kyojin's even going to be throwing his or if he's just a delivery system for Shocks. Shocks gets three flashes. Wow, we're, we're genuinely getting to see a full page out of Vitality Strapbook here. Xtaz has been drilling this with them. Let's see how it works. A double molly top side take. Flashes on top of that. Where are the bodies? Here they come, flooding in. Lucky delivers two quick headshots, one while blind. Great reaction out of Astralis, and this one falling apart, full vitality. Back to the drawing board. Dupree, a big frag, and that's clean from Astralis. Okay, some promising signs of life. That was very, very great stuff there from Lucky, right? Because you could see all the pressure that's on his position, that Molotov landing exactly where he's standing. The flashes coming through him into waterfall in and make his life difficult. And this kid right here is putting up a fight on behalf of Astralis here today. Glaive gets one through the smoke, and then the last two, not a lot they can say about things. Now, no plant means it's difficult to justify the force by here. A lot of teams, they like to go in regardless, but it looks like Vitality are just going to hold on to the Glocks. Rifles are plenty for Astralis here, and this is a chance for them to start Ooh. building something deep nade. Yeah, just shy of a colossal amount of damage, but you spoke his name, and Lucky continues to put it in the feed. Some SMG frags for good measure, sprinkled in for some extra cash they intend to splash. You can see that they did have those three M4s already. That's the beauty of the 2900 M4A1S. 11-6, the score is the AKs are going to be brought out. Now, this is where that gap can truly be closed right now, because if Astralis convert this, right, it's going to be Vitality going into a bit of a save scenario, and then at that point, the scoreline could easily be 11 to 8, you need with the next gun round. Uh, it's going to be very, very close. And I believe that's why Astralis have taken a timeout. I believe what you've just said there is going to be a part of what Zonic just called. Takes that extra time. This could be a tech. Could be a bit of a tech here. I read Astralis want to pause, so I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, right now... Let's have a look. It just says match paused. Uh, yeah, tech. so it will be a tech here. But I still think a timeout for either team coming out of this wouldn't be too shabby. It's going to be a bit more of a bonus if you are Astralis coming into this. MP9 is going to stay in the hands of Dupree. Lucky with that scout. Second map will be Vertigo coming up next. We will definitely see that one. And then... Hyped for that one. Virgo's been a, <laughs> an intriguing conversation. Not necessarily the most played, far from it, but a couple of teams have come in. I mean, the fact that Entropic... CIS have loved it, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, managed to, you know, accrue two big best of one scalps on, never mind, the map that most people have been avoiding against Gambit. They've gone and taken it and secured it. But then it looked like Furia had the answer to it uh, in their head-to-head. -head. Yeah, that was strange, wasn't it? Thought it might be a bit of a shoo-in for Entropic... With Vertigo on the table, but here we go, we're underway. Not much yard presence here. More than happy to take things passive out the gate, Vitality. Glaive aggressive. Oh, Apex in a power position to punish. Lucky, only a scout. He will have a look at Silo, I'm sure. Nades are being lined up towards yard now and starting to backpedal across. Shocks has to know where the magic line is, and Glaive is going to be a hard man to deal with here. It's all going to come down to this opening kill against Glaive, I think. Yeah. If he can destabilize as the wall come in, lucky to give him the early warning. Oh, good control. Shocks does get traded, and that was it. Bait and switch. This is up to Apex now to corral. Hard shots to hit. Gives up the ghost. They're charging towards Zipex's ramp and taking that space, and plenty of time here. So, talking of space being taken, Magis. Dupree come knocking on lobby. It's a lot of responsibility on Apex, and he does get completely booked. Glaive hears it all. And so, a bit of a swap of the sides. 
Glaive coming in fast on this flank. This is a yeah, very like fast round defining flank, and Kyojin already meets his maker. Bomb to be at least denied. That'll do nicely. Astralis looking a little more convincing here. They handled that well, right? You could see the decision making from Vitality, right? They understood that Lucky goes down and normally your all player like that would be the swing player to help over towards ramp. He dies, they try and pressure Zip and they get that space they're looking for, but it channels them directly into Glaive, who's hearing a lot of that. He's got that timing, able to deny it all. And the bomb goes down and well, with the loss bonus where it's at, maybe just maybe Vitality can justify a bit of a half buy here. Could go all in if they wanted to get a couple of AKs and Galils in lieu of those. But starting to stabilize her Astralis. I want to uh, mention Glaive's name. You know, he, that as you mentioned that tweet earlier, he's a noob in some games, he's a god in others. Well, now he's up to 17 kills. He's leading the scoreboard right here for his team. Lucky not too far behind. And it will be a half by here. So Zaiwu into an AK, the rest of which just have some pistols, some armor, a little bit of util behind it. Nothing out of the ordinary early. No early yard presence. We're not seeing all the barrage utility with the molly top heart. The smoke in front of Squeaky. To at least suggest that event drop might be possible. It's just letting the CTs continue through their protocol nades, keeping the choke points closed off for business. And Apex doing a lot of talking here. So the in-game leader just managing the troops right now. They can try and pull and execute with the util he has, as well as this Zywa AK shocks as a smoke as well. Felt like Glaive's everywhere in this round. Pokes his head up secret, calls Yard clear. It's going to keep everybody towards top and ramp on high alert. That's the perfect Molly Hut. No safe haven there. No respite. And Shocks does not commit through the smoke, but he wants the pressure. And Zaiwu wants the head. Zip. Tested. Zaiwu eliminates him. And now lots of room to maneuver. Glaive, you talk about him being everywhere. He's doing it again, Chad. He's doing it again. Surely Masuta will sweep and clear this. He may not. And again, it could be the difference maker. Dupree strikes and Glaive again lines up two. Oh, and Dupree delivers. This is more like it. Vitality rumbled despite the hero AK finding connections and them finding space. This has been really good from Glaive. Like, his positioning alone has won them so much information in these rounds, right? The kills. That's uh, really on top of the cake here, but his positioning, what he's hearing, the information he's giving his team, and now some smiles creeping onto the faces, maybe starting to believe they can get into this one. Scoreline has closed on up now, just three rounds the difference. And Dupree as well with a couple of kills there. And we've seen these frags before, you know, like that, that Glaive flank and Dupree holding squeak side, T side vent. With their frags combined, they take it again, speak his name. He does deliver. Glaive not stopping for anyone. And Vitality now twiddling their thumbs. What are we supposed to do? Stomaching a man disadvantage. It's a powerful solo hold out of Lucky. Uh, solo, yeah, correct myself. Zipex is there in tow. This is a little bit of a drama here for Vitality now because this is four in a row, right? And the, the rounds haven't felt that close. So we're starting to get the shoe on the other foot. That's what Astralis had within their first half of play. And they're just walking around. Looks like they're looking at each other. They don't have any space. They're not doing, doing the standard yard smokes to get control, to force rotations. They're going to have to hope that they can brute force in with one of these individuals getting a, a double kill on their entry. Vitality. Waiting out another squeaky smoke. Light on time now, and Shocks is stroll into the yard. Has been timed relatively well. Glaive will not have the instant information. Kyojin's project as well rumbled. Now just caught his nerve. Kyojin though, a big frag to post. Twenty seconds now. Hanging in the balance. Shocks is not going to check his corner. Glaive well positioned. Main a threat. Bombs on Zai. Where he has to adjust and address that priority. Who's going to go bodyguard main? Again, from up top, the top rope. A flying elbow from Zipex. There shouldn't be a plant. There shouldn't be a clutch. And Lucky knows he can close that gap. Time is on his side. And 
Nearly got a little awkward there. I had some Kenny S cobble flashbacks. <laughs> All right, well, they get that bomb down. But yeah, <laughs> look, they even got the double entry from Kyojin on that. He got both on the way into that top site, handled again from Astralis here. But you can't keep stomaching these early deaths if you're the French. Right? You're giving yourself nothing to work with. You're giving yourself no space. And it, you're right, they're just waiting out the topside smokes. They're just sitting in lobby. Like, what, we, Maybe we just fast forward the round to the last 30 seconds and let each team hold on to two smokes and see how we go. Because there's not a whole lot going on here, but... Well, I mean, this is uh, a game of two halves, Chad. I have completely forgotten when that first round came. So it was the three and then just that random lucky clutch. So the <laughs> Astralis boys are on a bit of a winning spree here. Eight rounds in a row across the halves. Vitality in stark contrast. Uh, an eight-round loss spree. Yeah, funny that. I, I think this right here, it's it's strange just to see that the pacing. Like, we've been talking and, and watching so much nuke, and there's like usually one team in the world who doesn't seem to do a whole lot through yard, and that's Furia. But it's interesting to see Vitality either not opting to take that space or just sending one man out there. Yeah, where is our typical wall of smokes? move this time again from Glavies. Persistent. It's just so hard to peek. You can see here he has a one way on the left hand side of that smoke and he also uses it to look on over the top towards Silo. So they have to wait. They have to respect it. As it starts to fade, he will drop back and now they can start their crawl. So it's happy for them to wait out the first, you know, 15, 20 seconds of the round. But then that smoke wall can come into play. Looks like they're rejigging the setup right now to do exactly that. Glaive's ready for this. Maybe there's a little bit of a gap here. Oh, yeah, it's blocked by Unbreakable. Lucky like won't be able to make the call. There is a gap patrolled. Shock's, Shock's at least lost. ahead. Lucky's ready for it. Their setup yard. Valuable for the Astralis. Boy, Zipex does start to wave the flag. Gives up the control. The Wallbang isn't shy. Just far off the market. This could be huge here. Yeah. This could be huge. Vents, and I don't think Magisk is ready for this. Yeah, Nade in his hands. He's thinking about secret. They're up the ramp. That's a lot of room now for Vitality and the Astralis bodies running out of chances. Glaive still can play denial. Zaiwu peeks on in to confirm a two on four. And Vitality actually get a bomb plant. That's their third of their T-side. Can they make it their first converted T-side round? Yeah, it looks like it here. Like he's going to pick up that AWP and is already heading back towards CT spawn. So we'll call this one done. Dupree just hanging around to see if he can get any damage done to this Vitality economy here. But this didn't start well whatsoever. So the fact that Apex is able to find that gap. You know, one of the interesting details I had right there is because we just flicked to one of the Vitality players previously before Shock's rounded that corner. And they were actually going to smoke off windows exactly where... Lucky he was. Hold up, Dupree. Damage. That is going to be massive. Oh, One no. kill so low. He's going to take them all. They need to get away from the bomb. Otherwise, they're going to go down. Back and off. They do survive. But almost taking down every single player right there, Dupree. Putting his life on the line for the economical damage. Yeah, that could have been much, much worse. Looking at the finances that Vitality come in with, they would have had very light on nades. If Dupree had forced the rebuy onto the majority. Just shy, though. Get to see Astralis fully making a, a bit of a, a, a map out of this. It looked like we really did have one absent uh, defender. But they're back, and they're back in a big way. We finally got the smoke wall, right? We were just talking about that, talking about the space taken towards Yard, and it didn't manifest in terms of shocks getting room, but it got room for Apex. So they were still able to get themselves a gap, and that one kill from Apex onto Magisk, you can just see how big it was, how important that one frag was. It's these little details when the players and teams play this map like chess, right? Because we're, we're trading space. And if you're able to capitalize, if you're able to grab that one piece of real estate, put yourself in a great position here. But smoke walls lined up this time around and quicker out the gates here. Glaive, he's going forward again. Flashed away. Not going to risk this one. Only to slow nade for damage. Softens him up and does get across towards the red box. So Glaive with a lot of info here. Ahead of the smoke wall. Lucky with a supportive flash, and oh, they line up for him. He takes a good, considerable chunk out of Zaiwu. They won't be able to cross, and Zipex confirms his suspicions that there's no one home, so this is really 
Going to nothing more than the kill. Yeah, Zip with all that info. Lucky's actually rotated it back over towards ramp in time, and we might just see more of this Vitality chilling out in lobby. Their attention is over towards the ramp position, but they don't have to make up their mind just yet. More than 60 seconds remaining on this clock. Still a boatload of utility, especially as far as the Molotovs go. Zip's going to continue to clear yard here. How far does he want to push the issue? This is great. You might catch Apex here just lining up util, right? You wouldn't be expecting Zip to push like this. Okay, maybe he was expecting Zip to push like this. It's just these kills are just coming in dribs and drabs here. Well, so far, yeah, Vitality's fracks have all come from Astralis aggression. This is the deviation from that. Lucky sticking around is brave, but he will be run down. Where on earth was Zywu? Strafing manages it well. Time. Surely caught now as they line up for the Dupree spray. He can play the clock. He loses his head. Magis hands one back. He has to come up huge here. And they have to plant low sight. They have to plant low sight. The doors have been blown off. And now the bomb loose. He can't get away. A different round if he gets away from that initial engagement with Apex. But no, 13 is secured. And just Vitality converting those two opening frags they found in yards. Apex's hunt doesn't quite convert. I'm surprised that uh, Apex was ready for that, right? Normally, Apex is the, the type of guy here for this Vitality team because he's calling at the same time. He gets caught out of position with nades in his hands here, but that was very, very good awareness from him to get that kill, be ready for that type of maneuver. And Vitality are, are kind of begging Astralis to continue to push at these junctures of the game. Now, Bai is going to come through for Astralis here, but money's not going to be there going forward. This is an important round. Yeah, big nade from Majeski. He does finish the job. That'll be enough. That's a slam dunk. Get out. He sticks around. Apex will confirm that he's not secret side, or at least suspect Glaive is going to fill that gap, and Apex goes hunting for magic. Yes, what a play! Takes some balls to pull that off, and just trying to slip the gap of Lucky. It's Glaive's hunt as well, and Apex delivers. He's had some serious awareness here. Leading by example at 21, he's keeping Zywu honest. They're trying to chase him down here. Look how many eyes are turned towards Apex. Just one man. Yeah, the bait from Zipex is brilliant. He's not going to be ready for Lucky, and yeah. Finish the job now. The AWP can patrol yard once again. And he gets the info, gets away safely. Heaven's not a bad shout, but Vitality are taking space while you're faffing around in ramp. You can understand this. Vitality have just been waiting in lobby every round. This is the first time there's so many players towards yard. Oh, he's going to get a rude shock when he peeks this corner. He's loud about it as well. Vitality, no. Pokes his head. Oh, just shy. Like he's a dead man. And now, running out of players, Astralis have been caught out. A swap of territory, Dupree into Squeak, the one-way drop. For good measure, a flash. Dupree's powerful in this position. He's shut them down on multiple occasions. Can he do anything now with a late arrival of Zip up the ladder? Saiwu knows it's a possibility, and he's lost his teammate as well now. So poor Zip doesn't have Dupree to count on, doesn't even have a primary weapon. He will... Tickle Zaiwu, but he posts his 25th and Vitality posts their 14th. Interesting to note there as well, Zaiwu didn't opt to pick up that AWP. It was right as his feet towards the tail end of the round. They don't need to operate on the T side with it, and that's going to be the case here. Now, the cash situation over there for Astralis, it is bleak at best. You're looking at 2,900 to over towards that high end. So should be seeing them go for just a, maybe a pistol upgrade and then a buy into the next. But you can just see right now the smiles on the faces, the giggles are returning here. It did get shaky for a moment, right? There was clear intentions for Astralis to be starting a comeback. But Vitality, they put themselves back in the driver's seat. And they're looking really good about things. Right? That's not the apex I'm sure you've all seen online, right? With the face palms and the overreactions, the body language here. This is a completely different look in Vitality today in that department. But it felt good. Magic's got the opening kill. Uh, Apex, again, that's in two massive key rounds. You have to look to the in-game leader of Vitality and say that he's done so much work because the space there, Magic's not ready to get the second on Glaive as well is huge. And then he drew so much attention to him and he's been doing that in other rounds that they thought it was just the standard same round that the French have been running time and time again. So props to Apex there. But this has to be 15. Look at the guns they've been able to bring into this. Deagle 5 7, some warning shots. Your vitality now. You've just seen the pistols are in play. You're licking your lips. You know that 15's just around the corner. And you've already got that secret space to work with. Yeah, falls apart initially. <laughs> Geojin's having some fun. 
Dupree's looking the wrong way. It is up to Zip and his USP. He'd love to grab a rifle, and there it is. Sai Woot will post it. 15 is on the board. Six opportunities for Astralis to close this back. Highly unlikely, and yeah, I think the legwork for Vitality done in that first half now just a uh, matter of time. There's just no punch, right? Like the, the amount of chaotic rounds we've had where it seems like teams are willing to fight and trade or at least in a position to do so. Uh, you can probably say there's been about three or four of them over this game so far. Otherwise, they've just been outmaneuvered. And when you lose certain kills, you can just see exactly how those dominoes are going to fall into place here. So for Astralis, we are going to need to see that fighting spirit out of them because Vertigo just around the corner here. You're going to have to have Vitality as your favorite for that one. Worried about the smoke glaive. Not hanging around this time. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like they're heading back towards Yard here. So evacuating Lobby, lining up these smokes, getting ready for what looks like the L block again. Glaive has left the secret position now. Oh, no, he hasn't. And he will stick around now. He hears those smokes. Info. Lucky says. Red container. The molly deep. Not deep enough. It's perfect. Glaive can at least stick around to get some info. He spots out the first. And Shox has been caught. But that was the only one there. They don't know. Apex has passed Apex again. Has gone again. A rat in the system. Established. Lucky might catch him on a check. He might. And he does. Good awareness from the rookie. Astralis want to say play on. Zipex debate. Masuta does deliver. Zai, we would be hard pressed to find anything else. And so Astralis, we said six. Well, now five required in consecutive forward up. Otherwise, this one will be going the way and Astralis' is pick, no less, of the, the French. Yeah, good game here from Zai. We talked about him in the first. He's up to 26 kills now. Apex with 22. On the other side of things, the positive shining lights have been Glaive roaming around a lot on this CT side. A lot of info plays for him. And uh, Lucky, who, yeah, he's been pretty good. 20 kills for Lucky so far. Going to need a bit more out of him here. We get back underway here. And already on top. He's spotted. He's dead. There's Lucky again. He's looking good. He's certainly ruining Apex's fun. I think that yard round he had has made him feel a little less Superman. We're going back to what we had in the earlier stages of this half of Vitality, right? Astralis getting the opening pick, the round stalling out, everybody kind of just looking at each other in lobby like, where are we ending? We don't have any space. We have to hope that we can trade efficiently here. And this is exactly what we saw earlier. They just sit back, they wait. There's going to be more CT utility lobbed on out, more smokes, more mollies. Dupree with a bit of info this time round, but patience is the name of the game. Boost towards ramp is nice here. Because of how late Vitality have been operating, if they do want to head back towards ramp, that's going to be a very difficult clear. Another smoke squeaky coming. We've seen this before, Chad. Waiting it out. They will have time as it fades, around 20. <laughs> Is it going to be enough, though? I feel like they're just going to get mowed down. Yeah, I mean, it, it's certainly set up for that to, to transpire that way. As the smoke fades, you count a flash, you spray through the smoke. Lave knows what's up, but Masuta does hand out one quick haircut. And Zaiwu's done the same. 18 seconds, lads. And oh, oh! Zaiwu knocks another. Dupree doesn't get a second to react. Bomb being planted uncontested. And Vitality are making it work. The flash turned. Nice react. And down goes another. Only lucky to defend their honor. And that's the end of that. Three frags out of Zywoot.